Hi there, welcome to the perfume experience. My name is Rodney and today we have another comparison video. So today we are going to compare Nishane, Ani and we are going to understand the scent profile and compare it with a few alts that we have. So on that note, let's get started. Nishane Ani was launched in the year 2019 and it is created by Cecile Zarokian. Now this can be constituted or you know, can be described as an ambery goodness. Nishane Ani's notes include ginger, bergamot, cardamom, patchouli, amber, musk and of course Turkish rose. So making it a very ambery, florally, musky kind of a fragrance with a very beautiful dry down. Now in terms of scent profile, when this perfume, you know, when you spray it a couple of times, so we have a decant, so we can definitely try this. The moment you put it on, you get that first whiff of hamber along with that musk and that continues for a few minutes, okay? It's got those slight green notes at the back end, it's got cedar, it's got sandalwood and all of those things happening at the back end with a little bit of pink pepper too. And after a few minutes, let's say about 10-15 minutes, it opens up. Now when you open it up, there's an immediate layer behind this particular ambery beauty which is the rose. Now that rose is so well, you know, light, uh, dry and beautiful. And along with that, as it continues after another half an hour to one hour, it kind of goes into this dry down. Now in the dry down, the sandalwood, the uh, sedar, the amber, the patchouli, uh, all of that come together along with this rosy vibe that you have from that, you know, uh, Turkish rose that is there. It builds up to a beautiful powdery fragrance and that continues for at least about four, four and a half hours time. Now, if you like this kind of a scent profile, uh, the first reference that you will immediately think of is the YSL Tuxedo. Now, the YSL Tuxedo also has notes of, let's say, amber and then it's got rose. Similarly, even Nishane Ani has got a similar scent profile. And there is also vanilla in this. So, you know, it kind of makes up, becomes this not a sweet fragrance, but then it brings all these things together along with that amber, light floral and this woody base but the woody base very soon becomes this rose wood kind of a you know powdery feeling and that is a fantastic fragrance. In terms of performance you easily get about at least close to four hours and it projects well and that scent profile is so lovely you know it's very lively it's very freshening you can think about this like you know you've gone to a a meeting or you've gone to a boardroom or you've gone to a nice occasion and that's that beautiful ambery florally woody vibe that you carry along with this particular fragrance so now for the alts so first of all you can get a decant of this particular fragrance from frag zone for all decant related queries please contact him definitely will help you out with good prices right so i have three houses uh, in this particular test so first one that i have is d money from the house of project alternate now I've had this for the longest time and look at the juice color on this one. You get a beautiful uh, concussion. I mean, it's really, really nice looking as well. It's a good bottle, right? And then of course I have uh, Afia's Meme and uh, this has also got a good juice color, a uh, beautiful fragrance. And then of course I have uh, Scentedelic. Uh, this is unrealistic reality. This was almost consumed. I've completely kind of exhausted, but the juice color is really dark in here uh, and a good concentration as well. Now, in terms of the scent profile of our oils, so I did two sprays each uh, on two different tests. So I did this twice, just like uh, always. Now, um, the thing is with D Money from Project Alternate, you get a very strong blast of alcohol uh, the moment you put it on and it's got that ambriness right at the top and you know you can feel that light light spiciness which is there with pink pepper and that cardamom note with that slight sweetness is there however that ambriness continues for a very long time now that ambriness with that musky element along with that alcohol is not very very pleasing to your nose and you know you kind of have to uh, put up with it for some time and immediately after about 30 minutes time it switches into that powdery note which is uh, which is the main essence of this particular fragrance uh, you know uh, nishanyani however the rose element is not something that you get in this you get a powdery vibe you get a woody vibe and that is there for a long time when i say long time you get about at least about four hours uh, four four and a half hours time you know that whiff you keep getting all throughout right so that's uh, d money from project alternate now 
in terms of centedelic centedelic also opens pretty well now in centedelic you have the ambriness but along with that you also get the herby green notes a little bit more and you also have that musky element again this remains longer uh, on that scent profile uh, and then it moves into that powderiness now the good part about centedelic is the powderiness is very nice to smell you get that rosy element as well and this will continue for at least at least good about four and a half to five hours you easily get that nice beautifully beautiful powdery vibe so you know uh, that smell starts really you know intoxicating you it's a very nice vibe that you get from this now when we talk about afia and when we talk about the og the closeness to that profile is amazing i mean it opens exactly like how the og opens you have that amber uh, amber you have that rosy vibe you have that light cardamom hint that's coming after about 20 25 minutes the og actually shifts to that rosy element you know with that woody base and that's exactly what afia does throughout now so in terms of scent profile it's an exact match like and i would say exact match it would be a little more i would i can safely say it's a 95 percent match to the og okay actually you cannot really find a lot of differences between the two because the scent profile is really really good in terms of that lightness that airiness that what the og has got is exactly similar to that in terms of note profile so very well done in terms of notes now in terms of performance d money that i had uh, you would give you about good vibe about three and a half hours and then about four hours it kind of uh, fizzes off uh, but the element that i was not uh, liking is that you know although it's got that powderiness but it misses on that uh, rose part so you know that vibe you don't really get it probably projects a little uh, as well so that's okay uh, the second is of course afia in terms of performance you get about let's say close to about four and a half hours on performance to four and a half hours easily you will get uh, and you get that whiff uh, and towards the last part the uh, it's a little skin close uh, i would say but uh, you have that same vibe of the og in terms of that powderiness that you would want now the best of course is of course nishane and in terms of that performance easily you get about five hours where the og closes off at four hours you get five hours on scented alley and that powdery vibe at the end with that rose and that wood uh, is like really nice when i say rose and wood don't think about it as your typical rosewood combination it's not that kind of tall it's the dry rose it's a very light element of rose but the cedar and sandalwood and the uh, vanilla make it a nice scent uh, you know the powderiness is really really beautiful right so in in terms of performance centedelic does definitely better than the others now in terms of presentation definitely uh, you know ppi has got a beautiful uh, artwork to it so does the 50 ml of centedelic also has got a very nice uh, artwork um, afia has got a very simple looking bottle right so that is that now in terms of value for money project all should be sub 1000 i would say about 800 rupees for a 50 ml bottle um centedelic is close to about 1600 rupees 1666 for the 50 ml that you would get afia is about 2300 rupees uh, for the 50 ml definitely higher than the you know the other two options now if you look at the ratings and uh, if you start with scent profile uh, project all scores the lowest because of that alcohol blast and misses on a lot of notes second uh, i have given 7.5 to centedelic uh, primarily because the ambriness is there but it brings the green notes with that you know herbaceous feeling which is actually not the case in the og the og has got green notes but it doesn't it's not that you know herbaceous kind of thing which is why i've scored a little lesser to centedelic uh, you know uh, pretty surprised that the notes or the top were kind of you know missing off from this one um, so i've given a 9.5 for um, afia for this uh, particular fragrance because the scent profile is in perfect match to the og okay there is absolutely no difference you know to say which is the og and which is this uh, you know alt because that well or you know this particular blend has come out really really nice in terms of scent profile now in terms of performance um second highest goes to uh, afia because it kind of does about four and a half hours roughly uh, the lowest is at uh, for uh, d money from project all which does about close to about four hours uh, but the best one of the lot which does in terms of performance and the uh, brightness that it brings up in terms of that particular uh, fragrance is definitely scented elix so scented elix scores uh, the highest in terms of performance
so presentation uh, of course uh, d money and centrelic score higher okay and obviously uh, you know afia scores lesser because of that simple glass looking bottle now in terms of value for money however uh, d money scores uh, higher compared to anybody else obviously because it is about 800 rupees uh, for 50 ml second is of course scented elic which scores uh, at least uh, because of the 1600 rupees price tag for 50 ml and the lowest on this mark is uh, half year because it uh, scores uh, i think about 7 because of the 2300 rupees bracket right now uh, having said this uh, definitely uh, d money can be kept out of this race okay now between centralic and afia the margin is very close and by 0.5 it um, afia takes lead so my pick for the best alt of nishane right now is from the house of afia right so you can definitely try meme from the house of afia which is an excellent alt for nishane ani why it is an excellent alt is because of the scent profile in terms of the closeness to the og the airiness that it has the lightness that it brings and the change of the notes right from that amber musky opening to that uh, turkish rose and then to that vanilla and the sandalwood and you know uh, at the end beautiful powdery nice rosy fragrance uh, when i say rosy again i'm saying don't think of it it as a full on fusion uh, rose fragrance definitely no it's got that beautiful scent profile of amber along with that uh, uh, light woodiness and that rosewood kind of a fragrance right so beautiful fragrance for dates occasions celebrations and beautiful projecting fragrance as well so this is from the house of hafia and an excellent all to the nishane ani uh, fragrance now i also understand that this uh, and uh, centralic both are in the price bracket of you know 1700 to 2300 so i also have a lot of decant left from the original so we can do another test now in the next test what i can do is to bring three houses which are under the sub category of 1000 rupees for 50 ml and you know have another uh, you know video to do a comparison and see if we can actually you know fight out with the afia and see if there is any other uh, alt which is doing a uh, equally the same job so right we can do that so if you like the content that i bring please like and subscribe share this video with your friends and colleagues and if you like an ambery beauty fragrance definitely try this one and um, follow me on instagram and on youtube for more fragrance related videos on that note take care love bye now